Dan, great to see you, mate. Um, obviously, we have to cast our minds back to the Brighton game. Mm. What was the mood like in the dressing room immediately after that one? Can you remember? Yeah, we were disappointed. I think we'd, um, we're trying to bounce back from the from the Liverpool defeat, and I think just probably all over the park we weren't really at the races. Um, yeah, I think Brighton uh, did very well. Don't get us wrong, but I think we're also probably um, killed ourselves a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think the last two weeks for the lads that have been here, we've just been trying to reset and probably getting back to the things that made us so successful last season um, and trying to move on from there. The result was obviously pretty much confirmed towards the end, the mm. last five, ten minutes or so, yet the supporters are still clamouring, still chanting about yeah. Champions League, still chanting about top four. What is that like for a player to be losing a game mm. but having the supporters going on like that? <laughs> Yeah, crazy. I think that's why we've probably a big part of our success has, has been with fans. I think yeah. we're, I've said it before, at home games, we we feed off their energy. Um, and I think sort of it works the other way around as well. And then away, I think even the cup final, if we go back to that, like the last sort of four or five minutes and all that, we weren't going to win, but they still had all the flags up. Um, yeah, I can. I, everyone's still very excited. I know that we've lost three games on the bounce, which yeah. will be a long time since we've done that. But... I think it's important to sort of go back to how successful we were last season. I think if you look at the, the, the start of last season, I think we won one and seven. Yeah. And then we're, we're still at a pretty good season. So, um, yeah, I think it is just about resetting, going again, making sure that we, we know what we're doing as a collective and then um, being ready for Brentford because it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, I mean, la last season, you mentioned it there, Newcastle actually hadn't lost three in a row last mm. season. Why has it not quite clicked I suppose is the word in the last few games since the opening game oh yeah I think like first of all we've had some very tough fixtures yeah. uh, I think sort of those four fixtures was probably the toughest anyone's played the whole season so and I think there's been parts of these games probably minus Brighton where we've, we've played really well I thought we were, did very well against City um, without really probably affecting them and their goal as much as we would have liked and even against Liverpool I thought for spells of it especially even when it was 11 v 11 I thought we were probably better than um, when we were against 10 that I thought we did really well yeah. um, but obviously the results don't reflect that so um, yeah it's not nice losing I think it's not something that we've been used to um, over the time since probably the manager's been here um, so yeah it's something that we, we don't want to be getting used to. So how important is that word perspective then mm. when you talk about that I mean last season like you mentioned it was one win in the opening seven this time it's one win in the opening for perspective mm. has to come into it doesn't it I think it does I think it's easy to get caught up um, caught up in it especially with how we did last season yeah. I think there's a big expectation on with this year which there wasn't last season um, I said we probably did overachieve mm -hmm. um, last year as well but yeah I think in house we've got expectations of what we expect from ourselves yeah. um, and we probably haven't lived up to that yet so I think uh, Brentford's probably a different game uh, the first four games we've had uh, particularly Probably style of play, a yeah. um, little bit different to sort of City and Liverpool and Brighton, but um, yeah, it's a it's a different challenge, and if we're we're not up to it, uh, we will be beat. It's that word that's causing all the debate at the minute. Expectations. Mm. It, it seems to be absolutely everywhere in the media, around town, everywhere. Mm. How do the external expectations compare to the internal expectations that you, as players, and the the management team have? Uh, I, th I think similar, really. I, I think we want to be as, as as successful as we can, but I know that when we we finished fourth last season and we've added players to the squad and we're, the expectation just it does change. I know there'll be people yeah. out there who are expecting we to go on and win the league, but um, yeah, it's it, it's tough. This league is tough, especially throwing European football in there as well. It's something that the lads haven't had to contend with before. If you look at the very top teams in my eyes, the Man Cities, who can play four competitions and attack every one. That's what we want to want to do, and that's what they're the bar that we've got to be able to hit. So, um, yeah, there the will be expectations, but I think we've just got to sort of not worry about all this external stuff. Yeah. Um, I think we dealt well with it last year, even knowing that Liverpool were chasing down for the Champions League last year and we managed to get over the line. I think that showed that we can um, sort of handle that sort of pressure, and that's what we'll be doing this season. When the Champions League group gets drawn out and Newcastle have Milan, Dortmund and PSG, where were you when you found out and how the heck did you react when it's the group <laughs> of death in the Champions League? Yeah, yeah, we made a thing of it and all got together and watched it. So, yeah, I definitely cheered when I, when I saw the group. Anyway, I think when you get into the Champions League, that's what you want to do. You want to play against the best teams and um, I don't think we could have gotten much of a, a better group. I think it's going to be 
sort of a great time for us as players to be able to enjoy that with our families mm -hmm. and just as the city in general you can feel everyone talking about it and, and buzzing about it so yeah it is something that we're looking forward to but as you said I think it's important this season that we don't just look at those games or, or the big games I think we need to do what we did last season what made us so successful was that yeah. every single game we're, we're attacked and yeah we're not looking past Brentford. Have you got many family or friends going out to Milan next week? I've got a few going out, yeah. There's a lot more one tickets for Dortmund, <laughs> um, which I think they've probably had a bit more time to sort holidays out and, and flights and stuff. So, yeah, it is, it, it's a bit stressful trying to sort tickets, but, um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Another couple of things kind of away from the pitch. Um, obviously, there's been uh, plenty of Champions League chat doing the rounds, but there's been more chat around the Adidas deal for mm. Newcastle. Naturally, you as a kid were growing up and... You remember those iconic Newcastle United yeah. shirts, the iconic advertising. What's that like for you, you know, reflecting back as a kid, seeing those fantastic mm. shirts and now knowing that Adidas are back involved with the club again? Yeah, I was buzzing about it, to be honest. Um, especially, I spoke before about seeing the documentary and yeah. you saw when they went there and they were getting out all the old shirts and stuff. <laughs> and it's just exciting knowing that we're, we're going to be playing in Adidas. I think it's a bit surreal because I feel like I try not to think about it too much that yeah. I'm playing for Newcastle as a Newcastle fan, but... It just feels weird, like like a dream that this is all happening. Like it all seems to be like how you would imagine it, if you yeah. know what I mean. So it's strange, but yeah, very excited. I'm hoping that they're going to make a few remakes, but we'll see.